So we started on site in May 2019. Uh, we are currently in August 2020. Uh, Elon Broadway Station has, is now in a state where the building shell has been completely demolished and cleared out. And we're ready now to commence construction of the Elon Broadway forecourt canopy and the internal fit out of the station concourse itself. Uh, on the platforms we have installed link bridge steelwork and we are now in a stage where we're starting to fit out the facade to the various structures, the stairwells, the lift shafts. Some of the works that we've got going on at the moment um, include a, a screening unit, a scaffold screening unit at the front of the station building. We're doing this so we can do uh, a second phase of our demolition plan and take away some existing windows um, ready for some block work to be installed there. That's uh, all being done so we can install the canopy steel work. We've got some other lads that are doing some excavations and some breaking out of some existing concrete here on the forecourt. Uh, that's all so we can pour the concrete for the canopy bases uh, so we can install the station steel work later uh, in the year. Uh, some other works we've got going on, um, we've also got some brick laying and some block laying going on in our transformer rooms and down on platform four. Um, and we've also got some electrical units being installed overhead at the moment. They're installed in some containment units um, and also some cable tray uh, units as well. We are currently pouring an over slab on the station forecourts. To do this we've had to install several dowel bars to join the new slab to the existing structure. The Dowel bars are drilled into the primary beams, um, the main frame of the building. As part of upgrading the station, we are basically making the station a Category A station, which is to do with the blast requirements and potential bomb requirements. So we've thickened and strengthened the existing floor slab to um, allow that new rating to work. It also allows for increased loadings within the existing concourse. There's a lot of um, curtain walling, a lot of glazing works, a lot of lift shaft works, which are the step-free access uh, uh, parts of the uh, contract, which is a major part of the contract because uh, this station has had a, an issue with step-free access. And when all of that work is done, it will be a great improvement for mobility impaired people and so forth. Yeah, so we've been um, on the station for the last year and three months, starting last, last June. Uh, we're progressing really well. Um, a couple of milestones back in November last year, lifting in the lift shafts and the staircases for the PRM access. Um, progress was obviously jolted a little bit when COVID came out and the company made a decision to close the site on the 23rd of March with a select team that worked from home try and get the site into a, a safe environment for COVID working. Uh, following the government guidelines, we created different wash stations, different outside briefing areas. We created one-way systems in offices on site, uh, reduced desk spaces, we reduced canteen spaces. We introduced a, a break rotor to limit the number of people on site at one time and on site on the canteen at one time to try and reduce the amount of contact the day. Yeah, so COVID has faced us with a couple of challenges. Obviously, we have to be two metres apart at all times, um, but luckily this gives us a chance to be more creative with our solutions. For example, our morning briefings, um, now we're doing them two metres apart. Um, this basically means uh, so that it's everyone's separate or we do them in uh, per company or we reduce the amount of people doing them just so we can allow the, the space between people. We stood down in late March for approximately six weeks and in that time we were progressing with the design of the station um, so it was time well spent 
uh, and then we spent a week reorganising the sites and putting in additional measures to control COVID. Um, hand washing stations, temperature checks on the way in, additional forms and questionnaires to ensure that everybody coming into the site was safe to do so. Um, I suppose a big part and a big challenge of COVID has been changing the general mentality of people from working in close proximity to each other as you have to with most trades within the construction industry and breaking that cycle and making sure people do socially distance whilst they're undertaking their work. When I started my graduate scheme, I started it last year, July. July the 1st is when I started my work with Graham. And when I started um, at Acton Mainline, there wasn't much built on site. It was the very, very early stage of what it is right now. So I've been there from square zero to what it is a building standing on my site right now. So I've been from the foundations to the basement walls being up to structural steel um, work being up and then now glass panels, curtain walling. So actually when you, if you go on site now it looks like a building. So I, I think I'm really thankful for the fact that I started working for Graham at the very start, which I've been exposed to different scenarios. Um, the progress with Acton has been tremendously amazing. It's progressed so much, like in, in one week, your site can change completely different. They throw me to different challenging scenarios, which is what I like. I like things to be a bit interesting. I like to learn new things. And being a female engineer, I've always had the thought, oh, are they gonna be treating me differently? But that's one thing I never have to worry about when it comes to Graham. So progress on site currently is the steel works installed, the cladding is being installed and the curtain wall of the building. Uh, works on the platforms have started and we are installing the frames and uh, glazing to the footbridges and ramp walkway. We are installing a new um, manhole connection into the existing brick sewer which is currently about seven metres deep um, and we expect to finish in the next three weeks. We are currently installing the internal walls um, and we have the seamless soffit being installed currently to the canopy on the um, southern elevation of the station building. When I turned up here in 2019, uh, we had Acton and uh, West Dealing were just holes in the ground. And since being here, they've um, progressed to the, the glass structures that we're seeing now on site. Well, when you get to site, you're going to see two uh, fairly modern builds, glass structures, uh, steel frames, both of link bridges, new link bridges going from off track position down accessing down to the electrical platforms themselves. Uh, there'll be elevator shafts in there, so completing the step free access for the stations, um, giving the complete access to, to all members of the public. Early this year, COVID uh, hit and took a massive swipe at the, um, at the progression of the stations. Bar the, the initial first couple of weeks where we're all hit and it all went up in the air, I feel that Grahams have really taken, taken it on board how important it is, but also haven't lost their drive or their direction in delivering this station. A lot of the other uh, projects along the line have looked to Grahams and how we've put in these, these mitigations in place and, and uh, taken inspiration and, and implement the exact same uh, mitigation and um, assessments. Uh, so progress at the moment at West Sailing is on, on programme. Um, we are currently working internally, doing the first fit m &E the internal fit out, partition walls, screening and getting ready for doing our tiling and uh, final finishes inside. Externally we're currently working on our finishing our civils work so we have our retaining walls ongoing um, and doing our final drainage tie-ins into the existing infrastructure. Covid has probably been one of the biggest challenges the industry's faced uh, for a long time. 
It has certainly affected things on site. We're kind of reorganising our work to make sure people aren't working uh, in close proximity together. So we have rejigged our programme um, to make sure that works can continue, but they can continue safely. One of the other things that we've done to deal with COVID on site is we've brought in uh, additional cleaners on site, additional hand washing stations and sanitation stations. I mean, I think all the guys on site need to be quite congratulated. They have worked very well. They're very, very good at keeping to the measures. They obey all the rules um, extremely well. Yeah, I mean, everyone seems to be pulling together, uh, looking out for each other, uh, reminding each other of this thing that we've got to keep. Um, it's very difficult, it's very frustrating at times, but I think the team is doing well and I think we're progressing really well considering the, the circumstances that we're in. It's been quite, quite nice working with Grahams. I mean, they've got quite a nice young team of engineers and um, they're all very focused. Everyone, everyone here on these, on these stations is, is focused on the same goal of getting these delivered. And, you know, they, they haven't lost any of that and they've, they've gone right for it. And, you know, and they should be commended for it.